Hello, my name is Andrew Jones. I'm a developer here at Journey Team, and we are a Microsoft partner that helps clients implement Microsoft technologies to grow their business. And today we're just going to be going over some of the, the key differences and similarities between portals and Power Pages. So Power Pages and Power Portals are both Microsoft tools used for creating and managing external business websites. Power Pages is an evolution of portals designed to add more out of the box functionality and customization options. Uh, one of the main differences between the two tools is that Power Pages is low code, meaning that users can create and customize websites without having to write complex code. Portals, on the other hand, uh, requires users to have experience with languages such as HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and liquid templates to create and customize their websites. Uh, one advantage of using Power Pages is that it requires only an additional license or activation of a 30 day trial, while portals require that the portal creation option be enabled for the tenant and for users to have global administrator or Power Platform administrator access. Additionally, websites built with Power Pages usually take less time to provision than websites built with portals. So Power Pages offers a new design studio that has everything centralized and organized into workspaces. Uh, this makes it a lot easier for users to add new capabilities without navigating away from the studio. Uh, in contrast, Power Apps Portal Studio has limited capabilities for configuring websites to meet certain requirements. Uh, Power Pages also includes full site templates that enable users to quickly build an entire website without starting from scratch. Currently, there are only two templates available, uh, the after school program registration and the schedule meetings with the financial institution. Uh, so hopefully there will be some more templates available with some future updates to Power Pages. Uh, but despite these differences, both Power Pages and portals share many similarities. For example, both tools provide a web-based interface that can be customized to meet the, meet the needs of specific user groups. They can also be used to provide access to data stored in Dynamics 365, SharePoint, or other sources. Additionally, both tools offer robust authentication and authorization options, allowing organizations to control access to specific data and functionality based on user roles and permissions. Power Pages and Portals both use portals on the back end, meaning that they share many of the same features and capabilities, but Pages utilizes a new user-friendly experience to make development easier and faster. Current customers do not need to upgrade existing portals to use Power Pages, and all existing portal customizations and development will be compatible with Power Pages. This makes it a lot easier for organizations to migrate to Power Pages without having to redo any of their existing work. So to kind of sum things up, uh, both Power Pages and Power Portals are powerful tools that provide external users with access to data and functionality within a business application. While there are differences between the two, such as coding requirements and provisioning time, both tools offer robust features and capabilities that can be customized to meet the needs of specific user groups. So organizations should carefully evaluate their needs and consider their user base before deciding which tool is right for them. So whether they choose Power Pages or Power Portals, they can rest assured that they are getting a flexible and powerful tool that will help them automate workflows, increase productivity, and enhance customer engagement. So feel free to reach out to us for any assistance with this. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.